Yeah. We're here with Jack Root, who runs Stafford Speedway here. And uh, how excited are you for this race coming up tonight? Well, I need to correct you. I did at one time, but then I retired uh, and handed it over to my brother and his wife and the two nephews, and they've done a terrific job. But I'm probably more excited than people would ever realize because this entire starting field, I have a relationship with them through my regular job when I was on television and to get to reconnect and to show them where I came from, to you know share with them my passion and my love. And it's really been a lot of fun the last couple of years. That's what I was going to ask is, you know, how long has it been since you've seen some of these guys, uh, you know, that weren't here racing last year? Uh, it, you know, it's been a number of years, but we've stayed in touch. You know, and I have a podcast called Jackaroot's Wind Tunnel, so they come on. But what's important is they now, like, we've had a chuckle. Bill Elliott and I had the chuckle. He go, I go, well, now, Bill, you finally understand why I'm the way I am. Yeah. He says, no, that's not the reason, but we don't want to share that with anybody. But the point was, they get it. It's like, like when Tony first started and he called me and he said he wanted to come here for the first race. He goes, your dad has done something very, very special. And this really is a tribute to the legacy of my dad. And I think about it, how ironic it is that we're running again at Stafford in the same period of time when we're all talking about the legacy left by Bruton Smith. Yeah. We're also talking about the legacy left by Earl Baltus that Tony has taken. There are few true visionaries in our sport. Whether it's Big Bill France, my dad, or Baltus, you name it. But they always were comfortable in doing what they thought was right for the future. And, you know, a lot of times they piss people off. But to see it culminate with this and bring everybody together like this, look at that crowd. Sold that, out. Yeah, you know, sold out. You can't get a seat. And I think that's the greatest tribute to my late father that anybody could ever make. What is having a race uh, of, you know, national TV like this? What does that do for a track like this? National television, we've always pursued it. We've been very fortunate. I mean, we had the old NBC Sports World back in the back in the, uh, the, the early 80s cover one of our spring sizzlers. But I think any time that you can get that sort of exposure, but more importantly, we're very, very fortunate. Flow Racing has done an incredible job. Uh, and what I mean by that is, take for example, our 50th anniversary Spring Sizzler. We had a sold out crowd, but we had 39,000 people from across the globe oh, wow. watching on Flow Sports. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the most important thing. It's made it easier to watch yeah. short track racing all across Absolutely. the country, huh? Yeah. 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 Well, th thanks so much, Jack. Hope You're the, welcome. Hope the event goes great. Enjoy. Thanks.